What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Planet Nomad. So it seems like you guys enjoyed the first episode, which is fantastic because I'm excited to continue playing this game. Now, uh, I had a little thing. It said dispenser now available to wirelessly dispense items or something like that. I'm not even positive. But uh, anyways, what are we doing this episode? Well, I would love to get some mobility stuff built, but I know we have to get some other standard stuff built before uh, we can unlock any of that stuff so that's a minor thing journals um items animals blocks objectives okay so i think we need to do this uh find a scanner print and build build and weld base foundation i already did that great clean water uh build and weld base foundation okay so um let's just build a foundation i guess real quick might as might as well i guess uh base foundation we'll throw that into uh that slot right there bottom bing bottom not all your basic frames okay <laughs> uh, never mind then <laughs> uh let's make what uh i don't want to make a lot of these let's we'll make five okay so we'll make those uh and then water i haven't found any i haven't found a source of water yet so like i said we could dig down and find some um, I was kind of hoping that maybe we could just find a little, uh, little lake deal. Actually, you know what? Let's just dig down. Let's just, we're just going to dig down. Hey, look at that. We, ooh. Actually, some, some minerals here. Iron and carbon. Nice. Okay. So, uh, gather. We'll gather some water. Uh, dirty water times five. Let's get a couple of them. Let's get, let's get a few, shall we? But yeah, you can dig down, find water, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, if you think about it, because... That's typically how it works, right? You dig deep enough down, you usually find water somewhere. <laughs> um, but these, let me grab one more. These guys right here, oh geez. These things like this, that is your uh, your ground ores and that's what you place miners on. So that's kind of, uh, that's that's where you're, we're gonna do the automation stuff. So um, let me get back out of this hole that I just dug here, jeez Louise. Hey, we made it out. Okay. And oh yeah. See, you can also see there's some right here too. Like if I just uh, do the quick dig thing right here, you can see that this is a, uh, is a surface deposit and I can throw a miner up right here and I could, I could dig all the stuff and get the things. Uh, oh, this is one too, actually. This, uh, this color right here. But once you throw the miners up, it kind of tells you like what resources you can get and you can kind of choose what resources you want. So uh, that's cool, but I'm not really looking to stay here because there's, well, I mean, I guess we could. This is not the end of the world. We, we could do that. Um, all right, let's grab those. Let's put those back. Um, and then let's go into here and throw some carbon and some dirty water and make some clean water. Fantastic. Doing that. And while that does that, we'll go ahead and throw another foundation here so we can make our... Um, I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. Boop. Fantastic. And objective complete. Bon appetit. Well, wrong button. Darn it. Darn it. Okay, we'll just throw that there. And uh, plating? Oh, are you serious? We have no plating? Unacceptable. Craft that. Okay. Open this guy up. Uh, we'll take that. We'll take some fruitage. Fantastic. Okay. Cool. And then this is making two plating for us. There's one and two wonderful all right so let's build this let's try to get that objective done too and hopefully we can get some vehicle stuff objective complete print and build wonderful all right so what's the next thing find crew uh find lost crew from anita sensors detect a signal survivors approximately approximate location in 600 meter radius find a scan tool at the location and collect important data about survivors the data about the missing crew can be obtained by scanning black boxes oh wow that's kind of cool. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna go try to find a crew. Um, and I don't think we can build mobility, not yet, okay. So um, I think it's gonna be this little space shuttle icon right there in the top the top corner. So we'll head over there. We have food, we have water, we have medical stuff, we should be okay. And maybe we'll find some goodies over here that'll allow us to uh, unlock some, some vehicular stuffs. Ah, oh, big attack by a plant. Stupid plant! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> Remember I said the plants had the spores? Those guys, jerks! Ah, stupid jerks! <laughs> they attacked me. It was scary. Okay. Uh, still, you know, I haven't seen any of the creatures yet, 
in this game. Normally there's creatures. There's like all kinds. There's like, um, I think there's like ostrich looking things. No, there's not. There's like these like rhino looking things. And then there's like uh, these like newts or like lizard little dudes that like to throw acid at you and be not nice because the, ooh, ooh, that thing is cool looking. I want you. Okay, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna explore this guy. I wonder what you can do with these. Last time there wasn't a lot you could actually do with them. I'm kind of curious. Is there water down here? Oh, there's an animal right there. There's an animal. Okay. Uh, monument container open. Oh, that's right, Xanite. Oh my gosh, Xanite is like super expensive, and I'm out of stuff. Um, let's get rid of those. Uh, we'll get rid of the biomass. Uh, extraterrestrial address book and extraterrestrial power cell. Wonderful. Now, is there anything that I do with this? It says scan the black box, right? Oh, it's probably this thing right here. Alien beacon. It has 200,000 health. Wait, so... Can be uploaded to your PDA. So I have to put it right here. And then press zero. There we go. Extra to address book. Was that not the... Nope, that wasn't it. Okay, maybe it was the rocket over there, or it was that, or... It's probably the rocket. Darn it, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Hold up here. It looks like there's a base over here. It looks like there's like a partially construct. Oh, there's another stupid, stupid plant. Stupid plant. Leave me alone, stupid plant. <laughs> no, just leave me alone. I was just walking by. I think there's like a partially de like constructed base over here. Let's go check this out. I, you know what? Actually, I kind of remember there being bases before there is there's a, mm, there's a rover right there <laughs> this is definitely winning this is definitely what we have to do wreck beacon oh <gasps> look at that there's a rover what's this a thruster oh there's like a whole base over here there's a little a conveyor a ceiling panel a 3d printer that's not powered oh it's Oh, it's a crashed ship because there's the thrusters. There's the oh, this is cool. OK, I have never found anything like this before. Oh, this is super cool. Interior cockpit. Oh, this is cool. OK, so wait, wait, hold on. Where's this black box at? Um, oh, that's the locker <gasps> scanner. OK, this. Batteries. Okay. New objective. Check your data pad for more information. Okay, what do we have? Uh, find crew. Use secondary pulse scan. Scan beacons to collect data about the Anita's crew. Find more data pads at human wreck sites. Uh, crystallize. Carbon, iron, silicone, cobalt, aluminum, gold, uranium, silver, xanite. Monumental. Oh, they added like, okay. Broken, find out the origin of the man-made wrecks on the planet, scan their black boxes, beacons to collect data. Okay. An egg hunt. Oh, buggy? Scan a wreck of a car to get a cockpit. Oh, yes. Wait, so the scanner. The scanner has two modes. Okay, so how do I? Primary mode is used to recover data from various objects of interest marked by a circle or question mark. Okay. Secondary mode creates a pulse scan, which highlights objects in the area temporarily. I don't remember there being a scanner. You can equip it by holding it into hotbar. Don't forget to reload your tools and battery with batteries by pressing R. Okay, so this should go here. And then this guy. We should the scan this beacon right here. This is not this was not in the game before. Oh, this is super cool. Analyzing the black box data from previously known Congena recon vessel. Human debris located on this planet about one year old. No signs of survivors. They couldn't make it a year on this planet. What? Uh. Okay, so we're going to scan this vehicle. Cockpit. Jack tool. Okay. 
Um, can I, did I get anything? Did I get uh, mobility? Oh <gasps> yes, cockpits, jack tools. This one's like already set up too. This one's already good. Oh, can I scan this? No, can I scan anything in here? Can I scan you? Don't worry, this won't hurt. Oh, this is super cool. New reward. Uh, Zentar Trophy. Check block catalog for more trip. What? This is amazing. They added so much stuff. There's like so much new different stuff. I'm loving all of it. Now, I could deconstruct, I feel like a lot of this and harvest this place. And we could actually turn this into like a little base place. We could, we could like redo this a little bit, you know, make a nice little base place. We have some stuff. We could do some things. I think this might be our new home. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Uh, but is this what, um, how do I switch back to my, oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, how do I switch back to my, how do I switch back to this? T? Is it T? No. Oh, oh, there's a pull scan. Question marks, question marks, question marks, question marks. It's all kinds of stuff. Oh, oh, we got to scan the eggs. Now these guys don't usually. So some of the, um, some of the life forms are, are not nice. Uh, local organic materials composed of sustainable heavy doses of radiation and environmental damage. It's hard to determine whether it's, this is a natural adaptation. However, many local life forms should not be able to prosper under such harsh conditions, especially with high doses of radiation like these. Oh, okay. So there's radiation. So there's kind of a backstory to why they can survive here. <gasps> oh, I see. I see. Now, how do I go back? How do I get my, my tool back? I feel like there's a hotkey for it. Okay, cool. We got it. We got it. All right. So what is needed for this guy? Wheel looks good. The cockpit needs a whole bunch of stuff. This guy, not good. Suspension. Um, okay, let's see. Can I thruster? Can we harvest anything from these? Oh. Can I actually not harvest stuff from this? Okay, so we got metal plating. Can I harvest this thruster? Oh, it's because it was 100 percent Basic frame, composite parts mark two. Oh man. This place is full of goodies. You know what we should do? Because eventually we can get into flying stuff. We can get giant propellers and stuff like that. We should try to keep this like this and build it and redo it and try to fix it up so we can get it to fly and fly this thing again. Oh, that would be super cool. I think that might be our goal. <laughs> um, the only problem is that I'd have to recreate. I'd have to recreate this wing on that side. And I don't think I'm going to do that. I think what I might do. Hold on. What, what are these made of? Actually, plating mark basic frame. Hmm. Okay. So I think what I might do is I might keep the, uh, the cab and like this part and just pretty much cut these wings off right here, because I think these are going to end up being in the way anyways. And we could always build new ones. Oh, there's pipes in there too. That's neato. Oh, what's wait, what's this? Oh, it's a bio generator. Oh, neat. So I think that might be what we do. We might kind of like take off, you know, scrap some of it so we can use the resources ourselves to do the things. Um, composite parts mark one. Does anything have composite parts mark one? I don't think any of these are composite parts. These are all basic frames and plating, which really I don't really need a lot of uh, the thrusters. I don't think we're going to need thrusters for anything. All right, cool. Uh, what is this bio generator? OK, fantastic. And then we have a cabinet here. Uh, basically, we just need some power for some things. Okay. All right. So what do we need for this? Composite parts mark one and glass components. Is that all we're going to need for this? Composite mark one glass components. Okay. Was this a printer? Was this a printer? Uh, 3D printer. Okay. It is 3D printer. Okay. So if I get uh, biomass energy consumption, 86 hours. Um, set this up to power. What are you powering that light? Okay. So we'll power that guy. Where that's, that's a, that's a red light. Okay. So we'll do that. And then can I make, what are glass components? Uh, silicon and carp. Oh, I don't have any of those. Uh, I don't have any of those items right now. Um, okay, so I need carbon and biomass. Biomass is easy. Carbon can be easy if the rocks 
around here have them in it. Oh, geez. So I didn't even, I completely didn't even look at this other container here, but this one has a whole bunch of food stuff. A uh, data pad containing last words of Anita's recon team. Oh. Should I put these in here, maybe? Okay. Nine. Uh, don't worry. Terry's recon team, Danny and... I wouldn't worry about that. Preliminary scans show we can offload cargo near the main monument in sector B2A as planned. All right, so basically, they're wanting to set up some... Um, some uh phase one to begin next to these uh these monuments in these different sectors oh terry's story okay uh let's go with zero uh recon team falcon one pilot log two terry so far so good entering atmosphere with minor disturbances but it's under control eta two minutes radiation and check should be smooth sailing for now what the of alarm warning cockpit we just we lost juice in both engines how is that possible shift shields are fried too fast, Danny. Brace for impact. Boom. So it definitely sounds like there's some alien intervention going on here. 100%. Uh, there's there's something going on with this place, and it's, it's just not right. It's just not right. Can I shut this? Close. Okay. Um, I want to get this, like, sealed off right here and, like, a nice little base place in here. And then uh, can I remove this ground right here? There we go. So it's nice and clean looking. Now, is there a window here? Yep. There's not anything there. So I'm trying to protect ourselves. We're trying to get trying to get things secured here. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely turning into our base. But I got to get the basic materials back. And it's like rainy and dark and terrible stormy out. And I just don't want to be out. I don't want to be out there right now. <laughs> you know? Um, hmm. Because I don't have... I mean, I guess I have basic frames, so I could probably get those fixed up. Oh, great. Now we're out of mechanical parts, too. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's open up this guy. Um, I don't need this, and I don't know what it's made of. Does it have any mechanical parts in it, though? That'd be fantastic if it did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're in a fight. Uh, mechanical parts. Somebody doesn't like me right now. Uh, did I not get mechanical parts? I thought I had mechanical parts. Oh, dude, it's this stupid thing going. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I'm just gonna shut the door. Oh no, we're under attack. Um, why? Why do you want to attack me? Oh, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. But I gotta get that cockpit fixed up. It needs some stuff. I need some mechanical parts. I need composite parts. Mark one. Is it still raining terrible outside? It's not. Okay, it's not anymore. I don't know why that guy was so mad at me. Uh, composite parts. Mark one. Glass components. I gotta get that stuff. All right. I think we're good. Do I have the required materials? I do indeed. Wonderful. Okay. Now, is it a hundred percent good to go? Uh, not quite. A little bit of stuff there. A little bit of stuff there. Um, how's everything else looking? Okay, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Are you ready to rock and roll? Are you good to go? Uh, battery. Okay, let's enter. Let's see. Is it movable? Oh. It absolutely is movable. <gasps> wonderful okay hold on can i switch yeah we have a rover we have a rover now what's cool about these another thing that's cool about this um is you can go to setup and you can adjust the ride height i believe nope not the wheel you have to actually this guy um rename medium suspension we'll do medium suspension on all of them just to adjust the ride height a little bit so it can go hopefully over some stuff uh, medium on all four. Now we could set them on hard, but um, I think I think medium's a it's a good roundabout. But uh, so this guy's actually ran on battery power. Now I'm not positive how much battery power we actually have. So I'm going to hopefully let's let's do this. Don't attack me. 
let's go into our build vision here are these all connected okay so that's connected to that that's connected to that okay cool so this generator here let's go ahead and select let's connect to this guy uh 99 okay cool so those guys are fully ready to go now we could run back grab our stuff from our other base and come back here and i think we probably will but first before we do any of that i want to build ourselves a storage container on the back of this bad boy um actually i'm not gonna be able to center that am i one there and one there perfect okay so we'll build these and then these will hopefully give us enough storage now you can see it's kind of like squatting in the back a little bit so we could go through here set that up to hard that'll kind of level it out a little bit and um hopefully make it a little bit easier to control so you have and you can go in the wheels like these and you can set um direction the turning speed what kind of what kind of what kind of wheels do you want do you want the uh the motors to be set to like power so you can go up a hill or do you want to be set to speed so it'll just move faster so kind of depending on what you want and you can absolutely throw a generator on the back of these guys and then have infinite power essentially as long as you go through and get stuff but i think we'll be good our place is not very far away um i don't like the um actually you know what the first person isn't that bad so i think we'll stick with that all right so let's go grab our stuff from our first base place. Oh, oh, we're going. We're doing the things with the rover. <laughs> Get me now, stupid plants. Uh, can't see very well though. Okay. We are in a rover, my gosh. I am so excited for this. Um, uh, uh, okay. We have got our rover brakes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So uh, while I'm here, I'm going to connect electricity to this guy again. Uh, it's at 98%. So that did not take very much power at all to do that. Um, okay, cool. But we need to go ahead. We need to store some things, do some things. I might actually have to make uh, let's just make a couple more storages because I think we're going to need them anyways um one there and one there perfect and composite parts mechanical parts okay i don't have any do i have any in here i should right uh composite parts mechanical parts fantastic looks good all right um and we'll go ahead and build these and we're gonna move our first little base place to that crashed shut oh i'm not gonna be able to see a darn thing am i nope that was a bad idea let's not have those here there that looks better and we'll actually be able to see what the heck we're doing <laughs> uh those can just hang out there wonderful wonderful awesome okay cool so we should be able to start moving some stuff over uh let's just go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff and we're going to deconstruct pretty much everything and we're gonna we're gonna call we're gonna we have a new home people we have a new home all right the base is gone poof just like that she gone we are heading to our new home on the with the crashed satellite oh yes oh yes indeed and there's already a beacon there so it really doesn't even matter we're not going to worry about anything too much um okay so let's head back over here the only hesitant the only thing i'm a little hesitant about is those guys were trying to attack me but um i think we'll be all right i, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue for us so um let's see let's go this way oh my gosh this is like so trippy oh <laughs> oh it's so fun though okay and oh man it's so much faster it is so much faster perfect er, skirt and we're here look at that we've done it my gosh he's done it all right so uh we want to get a door put in here uh you can see i don't know if you guys can tell bottom left hand corner there's a 57 under my like heartbeat sensor and that i believe is because we need to get a stasis chamber in here that needs to happen like quickly so um i want to get that put up right there just like that and we need fabric mark one i think i already have some fabric if i'm not mistaken maybe i maybe i don't have any fabric mark one. Oh, i do okay i have two 
Uh, is that enough? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So we're going to hook this guy up here. And how's this guy doing? Uh, gear up. Check your data pad for more information. Fantastic. So that has 14 hours. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to hook up this guy to there. And that's going to allow us to sleep at night and pass time quickly. Uh, so if it's like nighttime or it's thunderstorming or it's terrible, horrible, awful disaster, you know, uh, we'll be able to do that. Now, I want to get this door finished up as well. I guess it's good to go. Now, I don't know what... I don't know what door... I don't know what door this is, because this one's like on a flat wall. So I'm not exactly sure. Um, and then none of this stuff really lines up very well. So I think I might actually take these out. All right, so that looks a little better so far. I'm going to get that guy put in there. And I got to fill in all these like cracks because everything is used like everything was using uh, these angular things. And I tried to bring these in by one because if I could just brought these in by one. Let me just try it again. If I could just bring them in by one, then it. Oh, you know what? It was probably hitting the things on the top. Now that I cleared those out. I bet you. Yep, it will work. Okay. All right. So that'll be that'll fix our edges issue uh, for the most part. Yeah, that should fix our edges issue. Okay, cool. Let me get these deconstructed. I'm trying to get the base like kind of cleaned up and just secured so we can at least sit here at night or if we're being attacked and not have to really worry about anything. All right. So that looks fairly good. I just got to get this corner tidied up. Um, That corner actually looks okay. I want to get these blocks kind of cleaned up. <laughs> All these blocks just like laying around doing whatever. Um, and then up top as well, we have this little deal right here. So I'm thinking, gosh, all of these are individual pieces. So let's take out four of these. Let's see if a ceiling panel will cover this gap or not. Oh, okay, perfect. The ceiling panel will cover this gap. Perfect. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take out all of these little angle pieces as well. Now, I know it's taking away from the ship design, I guess, but um, I really just need it to be functional right now. We can always we can always make it pretty later. And I think with these last ones, we're good. Well, yeah, look at that. All nice and tidy. There's no gaps, no holes, no nothing in the way. Uh, the only problem is that this is still in here. We can go ahead and get rid of that guy. We'll get rid of this seat, too, just because we're not going to need these. Um, and then... I kind of want this to be useful, so I think I'm going to get rid of this stuff in here and then kind of make this a little bit flatter and then probably clean these up. Now, I don't know about these glass panels. Um, I don't think those were glass panels. I think these are a type of glass panel, but I, I don't know that corner one. That corner one's a glass panel as well. Uh, I don't know if we have outer window, basic window with bulletproof glass. Unlock this build a reinforced wall short um okay interior ceiling light so i need to build basically we need to go through and just build like one of everything so it unlocks everything uh yeah those got to be cleaned up i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these though this is kind of like in the way okay that looks so much better and we'll go ahead and get these things replaced right here so that way these all look good there's a piece right there that needs replaced um everything else looks pretty oh this guy we're just trying to get things like sealed up you know okay that looks good what do we got over here oh what is that piece that's a cool looking piece too okay so that looks good now these angled windows right here I don't know how we're gonna unlock those. We have to do. We're gonna have to do some some work to get those done. Uh, can I get these fixed? There we go. Okay, looking good so far. Is it about to be nighttime? It's about to be nighttime. Let's go ahead. Let's enter. And I think we have to sleep. Yep, sleep to replenish stamina and health. Yes, please. You There's our well rested. perfect, wonderful. Now we can go ahead and wait. I believe actually. Yeah, the food and water goes up as well. But I think that's because it's powered now. So we're going to wait till it's uh till it's daytime. Oh, I can't see because I don't have a window in here. We need to put a window above this so I can tell what time of day it is. Uh let's go ahead and hop out. Uh no, we're done. 
Uh, it's dark. Okay. That's fine. That's just fine. But that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. I'm having a fantastic time right now. This is fantastic. I am excited to be here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. We are going to be continuing. Do not worry. And um, we got all kinds of things to do. We got all kinds of things to build, to play with. Oh, the fun is just not going to It's just not going to stop. We're going to have too much fun. It's going to be too good of a time. But yes, thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully you have a wonderful week. And I'll see you in the next one.